Alright, Fenty Beauty, let's get it. Let's get it cracking. Okay, so I am so excited to try out this Fenty stuff for you guys. I got a a few comments surprisingly requesting me and asking me if I was going to do Fenty and just asking me about it. Um, I seen that it was really popular on YouTube and I was pretty sure I was going to get some of the products. Maybe not necessarily do a video like this but um, I also wanted to check out the reviews first before I bought stuff because you know I need to know what the tea is too just like you guys do so we're just going to jump skip hop jump right into it. I did my eyes. Um, I will leave the brow and eye products that I use in the description box so just check it out. We're going to focus on the Fenty stuff for this video so I won't really be mentioning too much of the other products. So yeah I went into Sephora. I actually got the last bottle of the Pro Filter Soft Matte in the color 300 and I believe this was like neutral or whatever. So if you guys don't know it is medium to full coverage for all long wear lightest air. It is a soft matte foundation so it's really supposed to be like a light coverage, very light but it is definitely supposed to be matte. I have dry skin so this is something I would typically not go toward but um, I just got a sample of this Glam Glow Glow Starter um, from Sephora today and I'm going to prime using my Too Faced Priming Spray. I also got her sponge. It is damp. It's really squishy, but yeah. Um, I heard that it dries really fast, so I'm going to take it like area by area instead of trying to put it all on my face. So I put it on this. This is really good for under the eyes, the flat. Even the same thing for like above the eyebrows since I do them before. I really like that the flat edge, it kind of like makes it way easier not to mess them up. I know not everybody does their brows first, but I do and sometimes it is the struggle trying not to get stuff on it. I really like this sponge a lot. So I really like this foundation a lot. It is a little bit light for me as far as coverage goes. I'm really a full coverage type of person but I really don't need full coverage because I don't have like too much going on with my skin. The only real problems I have with my skin is my hyperpigmentation. If you guys can see, which you probably might not be able to, you can still see my um, hyperpigmentation right here. And you can still see it kind of down here. So um, really all I would probably do is just go in and cover that up a little bit more. But realistically, even though I want to try to go in and add another layer, I really don't need another layer. Like it looks very nice. Um, it just looks like skin. I've seen in other videos that the foundation dries really quickly. So really just blending quickly is the way to kind of avoid that. And keeping it in one area, when you dot it all around your whole face, you kind of have to really go really fast because this half is going to be dry before you even get up here, you know? The soft matte is cool for me because I have normal to dry skin. So it really isn't that bad on my skin. I also used a moisturizer and I also used a hydrating primer. So if you're going to use it and you have really dry skin, I would just recommend using some very moisturizing products underneath any matte foundation really. But like I said, this feels really comfortable right now. It's not making me feel like dry face, you know, because that's how some matte foundations feel. It's like straight up powder and just sucking the life out of my face. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and do my concealer and then we will be right back to contour with the skin stick. Um. 
Okay, so I went ahead and applied my concealer. Okay, so right around here is where my face starts to look really light. And I'm going to just go ahead and blame it on my under eye concealer because the foundation is definitely the right shade for me. I got the shade 300 and that is my correct shade. So I know it might appear very light. My under eyes and my ring light are definitely washing me out a bit. But everything is the correct color. As you guys will see, I tried to change the lighting further down in the video but yeah it might not look like it but trust me it is so back to our regularly scheduled programming but anyway back to the matchstick so i got the color suede i swatched them all out in sephora and this was the perfect color of warm and cool like it was a perfect mix for me i was so tempted to get another one but it was way too warm and i know i know i know i shouldn't get it but I am like, I love warm tone. I'm warm tone and I love warm tone. So, um, one tip that I have gotten from watching people's videos is not to apply it directly on. Um, I heard that it applies a lot better when you use it with a brush. I used the stippling brush for my contour in my last video and I really liked how I blended it out. Product you get, honestly, not a lot. The packaging is really cute, but you really don't get a lot of product, to be honest. So, that's another thing I feel like I don't like about the sticks. I feel like you never get a lot of products in the stick. So I'm really liking how this is like going on so far. It really just like blends as you're putting it on. Like I'm really not having to go like super hard with the blending. It's kind of like doing the job for me. And it, once again, the product is very lightweight. Like that claim that they made about this being lightweight, 100% correct. These products are my favorite. So it's like I don't really have anything on. Wow, I actually really like this a lot. And I didn't really think I was going to like the stick as much. I thought it was just going to kind of be like one of those products that's just kind of like, eh, you don't really need it. You can live without it. But I actually am liking it a lot. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Hopefully it's showing you guys like the color. I'm really close to my light. I can't really tell if it's showing me up really light or not, but I am going to finish up on my eyes and then we can go ahead and get into the highlighting and the lips, yes. So yeah, I will be right back. I'm just gonna finish my eyes. I'm gonna try to adjust the lighting so you guys can really see that the color looks really good. Cause it's not light and I don't wanna see no comments about it being light, it's not. So I went ahead and turned off one light. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and highlight. And I am trying to open it. Is there some kind of trick to this I'm missing? And it could just be my long nails. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so this is what it looks like if you guys haven't already seen. There's one side that's like subtle and one side that's bright. I'm gonna put this subtle side down just to like see what it would look like and then I'm gonna put the brighter side down because that's the side I would probably actually wear. I'm gonna spray my brush with the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. first highlight looks so I think that it's really pretty like I put highlight on my forehead a little to kind of blend it really pretty for that really pretty for like even nose highlighting really subtle highlight for me like I normally would go ham with my highlighter so too subtle for me of course but you know that is not what it's for it's for the people that want subtle I'm gonna go ahead in and go on top with the other side that I believe is hustler baby hustler baby
for me i wouldn't really get much use out of the other side so i wish that they did sell these ones also in the individual or at least like just online or something because i would rather pay the same price for a full pan rather than a duo when i'm not going to use the duo you know i feel like they really should have put trophy wife in a duo but once again that's just my opinion so yeah i would just wish that maybe later on down the line she will come out to where you can get anything in the collection singles so i am literally in love with this highlighter it is so pretty the next thing i'm going to try is the last thing and it's going to be the gloss bomb universal lip luminizer so i'm so glad that it's at least a uh, gloss because i'm definitely a gloss person but of course I feel like they should come out with some more lip products. However, I did see that it is supposed to be and mainly focused in complexion products, which I mean, if we want to go down the line, like they did that as far as complexion products go. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. It smells like candy and it has a big applicator, which I really like. So that's what the gloss looks like. Okay, so this is the final look. I'll start out with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. I definitely do like it. I'm definitely a gloss person and it is a nice lip gloss. A lot of people said it is like a really different kind of formula. And it does feel like a really different kind of formula because it's really glossy but it's not thick. It's very shiny. I haven't put anything else on my lips except for this. However, it is just a lip gloss. Am I going to say that you have to get this from the collection? No. Um... The color is really nice. I feel like it could look really nice on a lot of people. Me, for my nudes, I'm not a pinky nude kind of person. And this is more of like a rosy color and it makes my lips look like red and rosy. Which I don't think goes too well with this particular look. But the lip gloss is cool if you just want to get it just to get it. When I say it's worth $18, I would not. Because I personally just feel like there's so many lip glosses out. This is not even a lot of lip gloss. Like, I can see the space. Hmm. This shit looks damn near empty. If you guys can see, it's like... Now, this could be a problem just with the Sephora that I got it from. Somebody could have been using this or something. Um, But I don't know. This actually looks and feels pretty empty like i can swipe it around and see that there's not a lot of product in here i've only used it this one time so um i'm honestly probably gonna end up taking this back because i don't know 18 dollars for this it just does not seem worth it at all and it's damn near empty or at least halfway empty like i really hope you guys can see Next thing is going to be the Fenty Beauty, the matte skin stick, and this is in the color suede. So as far as like packaging and stuff, really super cute. I know that this is going to get dirty though. So it's really cute, but I already know it's going to get dirty. The Match Master Skin Stick is $25. I would compare this to my Anastasia stick, but I have used quite a bit of it and it has actually broken. But that is also $25. So when you look at it that way and you actually push this up, I honestly feel like the Anastasia stick is pretty close to how much is in here. So, you know, I guess I can't really complain about that. I did pay $25 for the Anastasia stick. So, I love the actual product itself. Um, I don't know about applying it straight onto the skin, but applying it with a brush really made it lay and to lay. Like, I did not set it with powder or anything and it just looks great. Feels really lightweight. It feels amazing. So, I really like this stick and i thought i wasn't gonna like it that much but i love it so this will be a keep it is a yes ma'am i got the you know little sponge and i was pretty excited about this not gonna lie it's four dollars cheaper than a beauty blender i personally have already like basically stopped buying beauty blenders i've been kind of just buying the real technique sponges so to find another good alternative is great. If I do feel the need to buy a beauty blender, I can just buy one of these instead. And I am very happy to support and start buying these instead of beauty blenders, to be honest. Last but not 
least is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 300. So I tried this color and I also tried the color 310 on in the store. Um, I waited for it to dry down a little bit and then I went ahead and talked to Lady Working and she told me that she thought that the 300 would go better. When you're picking out your color, keep in mind that the frosted bottle definitely does make the color look a little bit lighter like not too much but it makes it look a little bit lighter so definitely swatch it out in store i would suggest and that's exactly what i did another thing that you have to take into consideration is that these dry down and when it's dried down it's going to be also a little bit darker so it's not necessarily like oxidizing it might oxidize for you a little bit but it's going to dry down a tad bit darker than it is in here so that's why it makes this a good color for me the sample i got of the fenty foundation 310 i did not even need to use because the 300 was a good color once this dried down it was a little bit too yellow and a little bit too dark for me and i feel good like my face feels normal it doesn't feel extremely dry soft matte i feel like is very good to describe it because it's definitely matte there's definitely no dewiness or anything but it's not that super duper drying matte that i mentioned earlier I definitely like this I feel like if you are just getting into makeup like you're just getting into makeup this line is good for you in general um, because everything's meant to be really light really you know like just a just a touch of this a touch of that so I think that if you're just getting into makeup and you don't really want to wear anything heavy which is very contrary to me then you should definitely try this out I was super hesitant in trying it out just because like I said I like more heavy more dramatic and I thought that this was just going to cater only to the naturals you know and there's no problem with that but of course maybe the line is not for me just like some people don't like using MAC or some people don't like using the Kat Von D stuff you know they feel like it's too heavy I thought this would just be a little too light but I do like most of the stuff that I got a lot probably the only thing I don't too much care that much for is the lip gloss and it's not even that I don't like it I just feel like it's overpriced and underfilled so yeah I hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will be back with more videos if you guys have any more requests leave them down below check the description box for the links to all of the stuff that I use as well as the products I didn't necessarily mention and yeah I have my new vlog channel down in the description box be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss an upload then there is a bell that you click to get the notifications be sure to click always on it so that you can always be notified I think that's it and I will see you guys next time bye